Woo! What up, fam, bam? Willie Mo Jr. here. Wanted to take the time to just chop it up with you. I'm just leaving the gym. About to get into this office. But I want to talk just to two feet, just like two or three of you, because I know you, some of you, you got it all together. But then for some of y'all, it's like, I ain't really got it all together. Um, I want to tell you, I don't either. <laughs> right? And so today, I want to introduce you to a word that many of you all know. And, and many of you all have heard about it, but you have been dragging your feet to use the word properly. Like this word right here can literally speed up and expedite where you want to go in your life if you use it correctly. Right? So the word I'm going to introduce you today, literally, if you say, I'm going to put away my hurts, I'm going to put away the hard things that I had to go through. I'm going to put away all the issues of my life, like in my history of my life, like people have let me down. People said they were going to do certain things, but they didn't do what they said they was going to do. Um, if you just take the time to really, really get rid of that, then this word is really going to make sense to you. Yeah. So what can happen is, is if you use this word correctly, your dreams, goals, and visions can literally be expedited. You can get there faster and get to your destination. Like I've often heard that the faster you get to your goals, dreams, and vision, the longer you get to enjoy those dreams, goals, and vision, right? And I was just like, hey, that really makes sense, right? So when I thought about this word this morning, I said, man, I'm going to give it to my YouTube family. I'm even going to give it to my Facebook family because I think we're neglecting this word and we hear it all the time. Um, let me just set it up real quick because I know you're like, man, what word are you talking? <laughs> what word are you talking about? So, the Bible says that when Jesus sent his disciples out, right, he sent them what two by? Come on, say it with me. Put it in the comments. Two, right? So he sent out two people, right? So he sent out the word that I'm about to give you today, which ain't really that deep, but the word is partnership partnership, partnership. The faster you become partners with somebody in your business, in your life, in your hurts, in your habits, in your hangups. When we get to those last three, we talk about accountability, but you'll have an accountability. Come on, say it with me. Partner, right? you can get to your destination quicker. So for me, here's the thing. Like I'm, I'm a podcaster. I'm a, I'm a, actually I'm a director. I'm a producer, right? So I produce great content. I'm going to be the king. Like our company's going to be the kings of the little screen. And we're going to be the kings of the little screens until Hollywood says, we got to take you out there, little screen, put you on the big, big screen because it, it belongs on the big screen, right? But in order to get there quicker, I'm getting older. You getting older. Every single day, you getting older and older. In fact, you are the youngest you will ever be in your life right now, right? And you the oldest that you've ever been in your life right now. So what you have to do is say, I see where I want to go. How can I get there quicker? And I'm here to tell you that the word partnership or partner is the fastest way to get to your goals, dreams, and destinations, right? So three things I want you to look at when you're getting a partner. Number one, look at the char character and the integrity that that partner walks in. The one thing I understand is that two people can't walk together unless they agree. So if you ain't really no drinker and your partner love to be at the bar, it doesn't mean that there isn't a partnership there, right? It's the yin and the yang. I think it's beautiful, but you got to really ask yourself, is this somebody that I can be around and still keep the t character and integrity that I have? Like, so I see so many people that like they'll get a partner and then you will look at their lifestyle and you will be like, bro, you ain't even really like that. You don't really you're not really a gangster, but you start hanging around them. And all of a sudden you feel like you're a little tougher than normal. Come on, bro. Like, be real about who you are. Right. Second thing that you want to look at is that do you all agree on where you are going? A lot of times we get a partnership because somebody has a whole lot of money or they got a whole lot of status, but it might not be the correct partner because although you all know where you're going. You may not be in agreement on the plan of direction on how you're going to get there. So a good partner is humble enough to hear your side, you hear their side, and you guys map out a roadmap to partnership. And last but not least, when it comes to a really great partner, you got to make sure, I mean, you got to make sure 
that you are forthright. What does that mean? If somebody's going to partner with you, you got to tell them the small little nuances that you may have that can be a hindrance to them. So for me, I always tell people, you know what? I'm really good at vision, but I'm not really good at admin. I'm not going to pretend that I'm good at one part to make the partnership connect and then not be able to show improve in my partnership, right? So those are the three things that I want you to look at when you're getting a partner. The word that I want to introduce you today, to introduce you to today that, you know, of course you already knew it, is partnership. Get there quicker, find a good partner, find somebody who can help you get to your goals, dreams, and visions a lot quicker. Find someone to help you get through these habits, issues, and hurts a lot quicker because even Jesus sent the disciples out two by two. Hey family, I'm your nephew, Willie Moore Jr. Do me a favor. I want you to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to do my best to do this at least three to five times a week. I was going to say every single day, but I want to be honest with myself. I want to be integral with you. I'm going to do this one or two, well, like three to five times a week. I think I can commit to that. And uh, I'm going to give you some solid information. I'm going to try to do this immediately when I'm leaving the gym because I'm high up. It's like I'm a, like the dopamine is high. It's like a natural drug. And I want to make sure that I get you this amazing information because I believe that these next few months as we move into this new year, I believe that there's something so important on the inside of you that has to get out. And I want to make sure that I get you there a lot quicker so you can enjoy it a lot longer. Okay. So subscribe to this channel. Also be on the lookout this Sunday, new podcast. I am sitting down with a kingdom blogger named Larry Reed. If you don't know him, get to know him. I believe that this conversation is going to be powerful because he's one of the realest guys that I've ever seen. And then secondly, of course, if you didn't get an opportunity to see the Derek Jackson interview, um, go somewhere on this page and check out that interview. It's your nephew, Willie Moe Jr. I love you. Flat out.